Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Queenie for those who don't know me and we've already got a Love Island update. Two from this season, one from last season. Before I get into it, please make sure to like this video, subscribe and hit the bell and leave a comment down below. So if you were watching the reunion, and you suffered through it like the rest of us, you know that Rosie and Casey had a little bit of an awkward conversation where they both decide, well, I don't know if they both decided, but Casey said that they should spend time with family shortly coming out of the villa and then see about pursuing things after, you know, having some quality time with their own people. The streets are saying they've already just ended things. It's no surprise if you ask me. I think things were dead even before they left the villa, but hey, they seem to have given it a try and now things are over. Things are also over, allegedly, between Jordan and Zara. So shout out to the person who sent me um, this update on my Instagram. You guys can send me updates there, but I'd prefer it to be on the Discord just so we could all have a little kiki, you know what I mean? So if you're not on Discord, the link is in the description box down below, but this is what the person sent me. Jordan posted on his status saying, hey everyone, Zara and I would like to acknowledge the increasing public support for us to be seen as an exclusive couple. After a few dates since leaving the villa, we definitely know that we get along and enjoy each other's company. It has been two and a half weeks of getting to know each other and now and for now it's it's a fun friendship between us. We have a lot of respect for each other and that's what matters. I can't say that I'm surprised because watching Jordan in the show, like I do like them together aesthetically. It's just creme de la creme. But watching him on the show, I'm like, he is so boring. And Zara seemed like such a big personality, such a fun person, and maybe she would need someone who matches that. Sometimes that can be a train wreck and you do need the yin and yang, but Jordan just seemed like, whew, like, I don't know. So yeah, that is over. That was very quick. Well, it's over for them romantically. They are still friends. So we'll see. Actually, let me check real quick if Zara posted anything. I don't think I follow Zara. Hold on, give me a second. Zara. Did she post anything? Okay, yeah, she, oh, no, it seems like it's the same thing. It's the same thing. So yeah, there we go. There's our answer with that. And then the same person sent me an update of a story that I was already uh, seeing on Twitter go around and it regards Remy and Jax from last season. For context, <laughs> Remy came in, he wanted to pursue India, but um, we learned after the fact that he was going through a lot of issues with Jax. I think it was mainly just with Jax saying that Jax would bully him in the villa. He'd be very mean to him. And we, the way that we were looking at Jax. Oh, am I out of focus? What's happening here? I am out of focus. There we go. The way we were looking at Jax was like, mm, he's kind of like a, a mean spirited person. So to hear the things that Remy was saying, it wasn't very far fetched for me to believe because something about Jax, I just never took to. So he posted this on um, his Instagram story the other day. And he said, um, wasn't going to bring this up, but this has gone too far now. Last night, I was assaulted by one of Jack's friends. Jax and him followed me on my walk back home from the club and stopped me. Then Jax began to start an argument about the Love Island beef that was a year ago. It hasn't even been a year yet, you guys, but yeah, a year ago. Clearly can't move on. Out of nowhere, his friend punched me. Do Jackson Harrison need, need, need to take themselves and their posse to anger management? Why are we punching people, allegedly? Punched me. I think it was a setup to get me to react, but I'm too mature for this BS. If anyone saw any anything last night, message me. So he's not saying Jax punched him, but he's saying his friend punched him, which... If an altercation was to happen, it would make sense if somebody else was to do it because Jax knows he has a lot of eyes on him. Even though it's been almost a year, eyes are still on Love Island people 
no matter how long you've been out the show, unless you just really were insignificant. Remy, I mean, not Remy, Jax responded. And Jax posted on his story uh, the following. I'll adjust Remy's story to the truth. Now, don't worry, just what, don't, oh, I'll adjust Remy's story to the truth now. Don't worry, just what everyone wants to hear. We'll start by the big lie following him home. Can't believe he's, sorry guys, if it's seeming like I'm struggling, there's literally no punctuation. <laughs> Zero. We'll start by the big lie following him home. Can't believe he's even put that. But I understand why, because it sounds bad and everyone starts thinking straight away, no way that happened, that's disgusting, etc. But it's actually 30 yards from the but it was actually 30 yards from the club. Oh, so he didn't follow him home, but he, but they did follow. It seems, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't begin to start an argument. I wanted answers from him as I got a voice note on Instagram from some lad one night saying he was talking to Remy and he's been telling people that he's going to kick kick shit out of me, kick the shit out of me when he sees me. So I just wondered if he wanted to or not. So I can clarify it wasn't about the Love Island beef at all. Whew, that was a long run on sentence. But to sum it up, Remy's been talking ish and Jax wanted to pull him up on it. Saying I can't move on, but He's the one that has been dragging my name on social media slash podcast since leaving the villa, even trying to make diss tracks. Now that I can believe. <laughs> that I can believe 1000%. Diss tracks about me when I just let it all slide because it was quite embarrassing for him. Mm, okay. Finally, just to clear up, I was not physically involved in anything that happened. Only thing I did was jump in the middle and not let both lads fight. Okay, so he's not saying that the punch didn't happen. He's just saying he had no part in that disagreement, in that altercation. Just trying to make it look a lot worse than what it than what it is and try his best to tarnish my name again. That's the real story. Cheers. I feel like I had no other option but to have my say seen as though, seen, as, oh, seeing as though a lot of people have actually believed him. Well, I mean, it's not, I can't say it's a hard story to believe because you're not really saying it didn't happen. He's saying he didn't follow him home. He, it was only 30 yards away from the club, but do you know where he lives? Maybe he lives 40 yards away from the club. So to him, you followed him home. And he didn't say the punch didn't happen. He's just saying he didn't do the punching. And also he's saying that the Love Island beef wasn't something that he brought up, but he was checking Remy on things that he's been saying about... Hold on. He's been checking Remy on things Remy has been saying regarding the Love Island stuff and him saying that he would beat Jax's ass. So technically it is Love Island. But yeah, Jax, I don't know what was the point of this response. <laughs> like, I don't think this helped the situation. I think you just solidified Remy's claim. Okay, so since recording, Remy has responded to Jax's um, post and he said, first of all, Jax, you and your friend followed me and of. Whoever sent the voice note is obviously lying because I ignore you every time I see you and I've seen you a lot. You know I've tried to keep it civil. On the night of the assault, you asked me, you're scared of me? Why do you ignore me every time I see you? And I told you, like I said before in the villa, if I don't like you, why should I speak to you? I deleted my things and moved on. Remember, this was all back in August. I never said you was involved in the fight. I clearly said your friend punched me. Lastly, I didn't want to hear anything about mental health from you. I don't want to hear anything about mental health from you again. The fakest person I've ever met. Give your friend up to the police. So, like I said previously, it doesn't seem like Jax was trying to... Um, well, Jax was trying to clear things up, but he didn't clear anything up. And Remy's here saying, yeah, I agree with what you're saying, except for the fact that you did follow me home and you antagonized me. Yeah, Jax and your homeboy, 
Remy, I mean, not Remy, um, Harrison and your homeboys, let's check y'all into anger management. Okay. Because this laying hands on people, we need to stop unless it is spiritual. We need to stop. We need to stop with that. Okay. Um, I hope Remy is doing okay because it seems like he struggles with just life in general and the terrorizing that he experienced on Love Island did not make situation better for him. And if he still feels like he has this chip on his shoulder and that he is being um, bullied by Jax, I hope that the Love Island welfare team does kind of step in because it is your responsibility technically. Um, yeah, no, this is an interesting one. What do you guys think down below? Uh, the Remy and Jack situation. I know a lot of people weren't a fan of Jack's the way that I was um, seeing the comments down below. There were some writers for him, but if y'all still write for him, that's questionable. What do you think about Casey and Rosie splitting already? I'm pretty sure that doesn't come as, as a surprise to anybody. But Jordan and Zara, I thought it would have lasted a little bit longer. Did not think it would it would end that quick, especially since they were basically on a tour together showcasing their... Uh, romance I was gonna say relationship but it wasn't I don't know y'all let me know in the comments down below okay if there are any other updates y'all want me to talk about just hit me up on the dms or in the discord and I will see you in the next one